Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, good morning, uh, good evening and good afternoon. I think we have uh, many attendants from all over the world. Um, welcome in behalf of Ernesto Travel Company, on behalf of our um, boss, owner, Ernest Mirosław. Uh, it's a big pleasure for us to present this webinar entitled Poland Discovering Poland as a Destination. Um, it's very uh, pleasure for me to present this uh, webinar, not only uh, because of the many attraction of Poland, but also we would like to encourage you to visit uh, Krakow, Warsaw and other part of our beautiful Polish land. Uh, I hope you hear me uh, very good. Uh, if not, please uh, make some, some comments, but I hope everything is uh, correct. Uh, Ernest Mirosław and Ernesto Travel is a founder and owner tour operator of Ernesto Travel. Our office exists in the Polish market since 2006. We are a member of POT, Polish Tourism Organization, and MOT, Małopolska a Tourist Organization. Our office, if based in Krakow in Poland, I think is the one of the most beautiful uh, city in Poland. Here on the photo, you, have, you can see our owner. Uh, and the photo on the right hand side is me. My name is Dominika. I am uh, one of the, um, uh, I am responsible for English speaking sector in er er Ernesto Travel. Uh, here under the photo, uh, you can see my, my contact details. My mail is incoming at ernesto-travel.pl. Uh, we plan to, um, to uh, make this webinar approximately one hour. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you are welcome. Uh, please wait till the end and uh, after ev everything you can write your questions or if you need more details about the Krakow, about Poland, about our destination, uh, please write on my mail incoming at ernesto-travel.pl. Poland. Uh, you can see on this map that we are located in the center of Europe. Uh, our surface is 212,696 square kilometers. Our population is over the 38 million. Our currency is uh, Polish zloty. It's for it's uh, one euro. It's approximately four point six zloty. One American dollar, three point eight zloty. Of course, everything depends on the economic situation, but um, this is the average uh, amount of uh, euro and uh, U.S. dollar. We we'll speak Polish. Poland is uh, divided per 16 voivodeships. Uh, the uh, biggest uh, city uh, in Poland are start from north on the Baltic coast and Mazuria. We have uh, Gdańsk, Olsztyn, Szczecin, Bydgoszcz and Torun is remarked on the map on blue color. At center of Poland uh, are located cities like Łódź, Warsaw, the capital of Poland, and Kielce. And these cities uh, are remarked on red. South Poland, Krakow, and our um, uh, our Krakow and, and Katowice. Western Poland remark on yellow color. Lower Silesia does it mean Dolny Śląsk and Greater Poland means Wielkopolska, like Gorzów, Wielkopolski, Zielona Góra, Poznań, Wrocław and Opole. Uh, also, uh, Poland is only the home for 16 UNESCO heritage sites. Uh, in north part of Poland, we have Malborg, the, Zamek, the, the castle of Malborg. It's Teutonic uh, castle, one of the biggest um, brick castle in Poland, and I think in Europe as well, one of the biggest. Uh, also, it's a Torun. Uh, 
Central Poland, it's uh, Warsaw uh, and uh, Zamość, as well as um, um, uh, Białowieski National Park. Western Poland, divided Lower Silesia and Greatest Poland. Uh, it's home for um, Mazzukowski Park, Wrocław, with beautiful old town, a church of, uh, churches of peace in Javor, Świdnica, and as well of the mine, mine of Sink in Tarnowskie Góry. Also, many beautiful wooden churches in Carpathian area. Uh, this on the map is a uh, mark on violet color and beautiful wooden churches in Małopolska. This one are marked on pink color. Um, Poland is also divided per, per uh, many regions. I, I, I would like to divide it, uh, Poland per uh, four, let's say, pieces like south, east, west, and north. We start from south part of Poland uh, called Małopolska. Uh, let's start from Częstochowa. Częstochowa is one of the biggest Marian shrine in Poland, which is visited by uh, enormous amount of um, uh, pilgrims, not only from Poland, but also from Europe. Next, we have Auschwitz-Birkenau, um, ex-concentration and uh, extermination camp, beautiful Wadowice, town place of, uh, um, birthplace of John Paul II, uh, Kalwaria Zebrzydowska, also um, Marian Shrine with Bernardin uh, Shrine, Zakopane, Polish capital, uh, winter capital of Poland, Dunajec River with magnificent Dunajec Gorge and uh, rafting. Wieliczka Salma, Salmain, it's our uh, pearl, I think, of, of Małopolska, and beautiful Krakow with um, a market square and the Zygmunt Chapel. As you can see, these places are situated not far away from each other. So when the group come uh, to Poland, to Krakow, especially, they can easily uh, communicate between this, these places uh, because they are not far away from each other. You need three, maybe four days to see most of them or even um, all of them. Krakow and ancient city. Yes, this is uh, this place, the pearl of um, Renaissance uh, architecture. This is the largest uh, market square in Europe with, the, uh, with many buildings, many um, places which have a big value. Start from right, you will see the tower clock. Uh, we see also the Sukinice, the town hall, where still you can buy many uh, handmade things, the souvenirs from Krakow, Mariacki church, and small one on the right side, the St. Wojciech church. You have to come to Krakow, you have to meet these amazing places, you have to uh, hear the special sound, special melody from the silver trump of Mariacki church. It's a hey now, you have to know the history of this place, the legend um, about uh, Mariacki, uh, to, about two towers of Mariacki Church. It is not possible not to fall in love in this place, so come to Krakow and see this beautiful and amazing history, especially uh, uh, during the evenings. This place is beautiful, beautifully highlighted. Uh, Krakow uh, Wawel Castle. Passing by the old market square, you have to uh, very quickly uh, reach the Wawel Hill. You have to go through the Grotka Street, one of the longest streets uh, in Old Town. Uh, here on this photo on left hand side, uh, you see the Wawel Hill. And on the foot, it's, it's a longest, it's, it's a part of the longest river named Vistula. Uh, Wawel Castle is the uh, place uh, where the Polish king lives. Uh, we can admire beautiful 
um, chambers, uh, also the private and representative rooms. But the most important on the Wawel Hill uh, is the uh, Zygmunt Cathedral. This, this is the one of the most important place because it was the place of the, uh, because it was the coronation place of the Polish kings. Inside you can admire um, beautiful Renaissance, Gothic, uh, even modern art, uh, art um, um, sculpture, and uh, also in the crypt of Leonardo in this place, John Paul II uh, offered his first mass. Zygmunt Cathedral is also the burial places for Polish kings. Uh, when you visit the Wawel Castle, you can, uh, you can pass by also to the beautiful uh, country yard and admire beautiful arcades. Polish folklore. I think uh, each group will visit the Poland, visit Krakow, uh, have to know our Polish folklore. Um, this presentation it takes place uh, mostly during the dinners after full day of visiting, after full day of, of many adventures, you can um, come to the restaurant, uh, taste delicious Polish, and uh, not only Polish, but also cuisine from other parts of, of our beautiful city. Polish cuisine, taste uh, maybe special pierogi or red borscht or other uh, nice uh, Polish dishes. And you can uh, know our entertainment. Uh, we cooperate with professional dancers, uh, which uh, always are presented many uh, Polish and regional dances. They are wearing with colorful national clothes. Uh, I think it's also a good opportunity for the groups, as I told, after a full day of visiting our uh, Polish uh, land. Village Kasaldmine. It's um, Located only 15 kilometers from Krakow. It's a, it's amazing place, as you see on this photo. Uh, this place is um, from uh, many many years uh, was uh, um, have been carved by Polish uh, miners. They created a beautiful underground world with underground chapels, underground uh, corridors. Uh, with under, underground sculptures, chandeliers, and also with lakes. Everything uh, underground, because uh, to be underground, you have to uh, manage 300 meters uh, down. But it's amazing an adventure. I think it's the unique place and uh, one of the most recommended places for by visitors uh, in Europe. Uh, here on the main altar in uh, St. King Chapels, uh, you can stop for a while and uh, pray in front of the relics, blood relics of John Paul II. River Dunayets. Uh, passing by the, um, the road from Krakow to Zakopane, uh, many groups stop in Pienini National Park. Uh, here, this uh, beautiful place uh, is recommended for this one who would like to know the rafting through the Dunayets River. This river uh, have carved uh, the gorge from um, in limestone rock from many many centuries. So you can admire beautiful white uh, wild um, nature. You can hear the legend. Uh, which can uh, tell us the, the craftsmen, who can admire uh, beautiful um, nature of uh, Dunayet National Park. The tradition of uh, rafting uh, with uh, wooden uh, rafts, um, it's uh, it's, it's from the uh, first half of 19th century. Um, the raftsmen, uh, before starting the rafts, uh, they, they have to connect long by very wide uh, um, wooden boats together, and the passengers can easily go inside the boat and admire beautiful Dunayet um, scenery during two or three hours. Um, 
sailing through the Dunayet uh, River and Dunayet uh, Gorge. Uh, Zakopane and the Tatra Mountain. Zakopane is called the Polish uh, capital, the winter capital of Poland. And it's really true because it's not, not only the place in the winter time, but this is a good opportunity to, to go there and uh, visit, for example, Morskie Oko during the summertime. Uh, you can go for a walk through the many roads in the valleys at uh, Tatra mountains. Here you can see the wooden horse ride. Uh, we're just waiting for maybe some of you on the Krupovki, uh, Krupovki street. This is the uh, main street in Zakopane. When you ask about the Krupovki, everybody knows this place. Uh, it's quite commercial place, but you can also find something for you. You can go to the restaurant or the traditional um, uh, Zakopiański, uh, Zakopiańska dish or taste the nice uh, smoked cheese called Oscypek. Fadowice and Kalwaria Zebrzydowska. Maybe start from Kalwaria because it's not only the sanctuary, but it's the big complex of um, chapels and line churches and also the amazing uh, manierist uh, park and the garden. Um, the founder of Kalwaria Zebrzydowska is Michał Zebrzydowski, uh, who in 1602 uh, founded the Kalwari and the uh, all almost all complex. Uh, this is the place when now the Father Bernardines take care about Calvaria. And Wadowice, the, birth, uh, the um, uh, birthplace of John Paul II, Karol Wojtyła. Um, he was attended uh, uh, to this church as, as an uh, ev ev every day. He served as an altar boy and he also every day uh, prayed in front of the miracles paint of uh, um, Mary of uh, Perpetual Help. Opposite the church, you, you, we can visit the um, family home of John Paul II, which was, which have been trans, uh, transfer, uh, transformed into museum. People uh, can go inside with the guide and hear the stories um, uh, from the life of, life of family uh, Wojtyła. They can admire beautiful souvenirs and uh, utility things, uh, many rooms uh, in which are exhibited um, things from family Wojtyła, their belongings. Also, when you're in Wadowice, is also good opportunity to taste some cake called Pope Cake, which means Kremówka. Please remember, Pope Cake, Kremówka, it's very, very delicious cake that's worth to try. Częstochowa. Częstochowa it's known also like um, Jasna Góra, uh, with one of the largest sanctuary in Poland. Uh, this home for uh, the um, miraculous paint of Black Madonna and the Father Paulis take care about this monastery. Uh, it's uh, when you are displaced, you can have a guiding, guided tour through the monastery and also visited uh, one of the most uh, beautiful museum. Uh, there are gathered the uh, votive uh, offerings left by pilgrimage, also this one, which was offered by John Paul II. Auschwitz. Um, Auschwitz Birkenau is situated around 50 kilometers from Krakow. Uh, this place commemorates the uh, prisoners uh, which were killed there, which were um, uh, prisoned during the Second World War. Auschwitz is divided per two places Auschwitz with the uh, brick barracks. Uh, with um, uh, crematories, uh, with chambers, with the gas chambers, and also is divided uh, on a second part like a beer canal. Uh, 
enormous area uh, with wooden and brick barracks and also with the crematories. Uh, during the World War II, over the four million four millions people died there, mostly Jews. Um, this place also is related with the person of Saint Maximilian Kolbe, who willingly offered his life uh, for another man as a Christian act of love. Center of Poland, uh, also very popular among our tourists, uh, among our group who are passing by, let's say, from north to south or from south to north. North, they would like to uh, visit the capital of Poland, uh, Warsaw, Nipokalanów, which is related with um, uh, San Maximilian Kolbe, Żelazowa Wola, famous because of the Friedrich Chopin, and Głogowiec, uh, because of the person of Helena Kowalska, worldwide known like uh, Faustina Kowalska. Warsaw, beautifully highlighted, especially at night. Here on the main square, you, we can see the column of Zygmunt Vasa III. This is a good place for meeting uh, for inhabitants and also for the, for the groups. Opposite the column, uh, we can admire a royal castle. This place is very important for Poland because here the first constitution, first Polish constitution on, of 3rd of May was adopted. This is the first constitution in Europe and the second oldest constitution in the world. Inside the, uh, the, the castle, you can admire many highly decorated, beautifully decorated chambers uh, with the exhibition of Canaletto paints. Behind uh, this building, it's a magnificent old market square. And on the middle of the uh, of this square, this is the statue of mermaids, which is symbol of Warsaw and protector of the city. Żelazowa Wola with Frédéric Chopin and his house. It's also not far away from the uh, capital of Poland. So the group also during two or three day stays in Warsaw, you can visit uh, this uh, magnificent park and the home of this great composer. Uh, during the summertime, uh, they organize a concert in the garden or inside the uh, the, the, the family home in Żelazowa Wola. Nipokalanów. Uh, this city is also known as the city of Immaculate. Everything thanks to uh, the, um, this uh, great man, San Maximilian Kolbe, who offered his life for another man in, in Auschwitz uh, Birkenau. Uh, thanks to him, uh, Nipokalanov uh, has been uh, grown from 18 fathers to the amazing number on, of 650 fathers, which now um, create the largest Christian religion, uh, religious house uh, in Poland, maybe also in Europe. Głogowiec and uh, Świnice Bardzkie, a place related with Helena Kowalska, which was uh, born in, on 25th of August 1905. Uh, she was the third from 10 children uh, of Stanisław and Marianna uh, Kowalski. Uh, when uh, she was 16, first time uh, she heard the voice of God. Now in Głogowiec and Świnice Wartskie, we can visit the Sanctuarium uh, Birth and uh, Baptist of St. Faustina Kowalska. And also we can visit in Głogowiec the family home, which now uh, is a museum with uh, utility things of family Kowalski. Um, and we can also pray uh, in this small but beautiful church in Świnice Wartskie. Uh, north of Poland, um, also nice and attractive for uh, not only Polish group, but also uh, from um, group from all over the world. 
uh, magnificent weather with beautiful sandy uh, beaches. It's um, popular, especially during the summertime when you can go there, uh, you can take a rest and uh, take some, some sun. Uh, Gdynia, Sopot and Gdańsk. These two cities situated very close to each other, uh, they create an agglomeratic structure called Tree City. Uh, Gdańsk has been developing very fast from their first, uh, first beginning. Uh, it's uh, very good located. Um, Gdańsk belonged to the Hansatic city and participated in the maritime trade. Uh, in, uh, also, this is very important cultural uh, places, touristic places. Uh, on the photo on the right hand side, you can admire beautiful uh, Neptune fountain and uh, amazing. Uh, which is amazingly sur surrounding by the uh, Gothic and Renaissance Vogler's house. Also in Gdańsk, it's worth to see the Solidarity Museum, which tells story about the Polish solidarity. Uh, Sopot, uh, it's not only famous because uh, uh, Sopot concert in Opera Leśna, but also it's uh, very willingly visited because of the uh, largest, uh, no, largest, uh, longest wooden uh, molo in Europe. From the molo, you can admire the panoramic of Sopot and you can uh, go for a walk uh, also to, to know better the shore and the Baltic Sea. Gdynia, uh, it's with uh, the, the place also recommended for Polish tourists. Uh, uh, not only for Polish, but uh, for for uh, tourists from other ad, ad, other countries as well. Uh, in Gdynia, you can admire the big port and the um, uh, Renaissance and Gothic uh, buildings in the old town. And in this port, you can visit the one of the old world oldest uh, ship. Its name is Buskavica, and this is one of the oldest destroyer in the world still active, still um, available for visitors. Next, uh, not far away from, from Gdańsk, uh, it's a Malborg Castle, the Teutonic uh, Malborg uh, Castle, uh, perhaps one of the biggest uh, brick castle uh, in Europe with enormous uh, rooms, uh, corridors, country yards. You can admire many exhibitions. The one of the most impressive is this one, which presents armors and also um, other utilities, uh, military utilities, military equipment. Also, what to see is the um, uh, exhibition uh, of um, armors, exhibition of um, uh, um, um, oh, I remember the word, sorry. Uh, okay, sorry. Next photo. <laughs> when, I, when I remind myself later, I will come back to this. A uh, Toruń, uh, beautifully highlighted, uh, very known because of the Mikołaj, uh, Mikołaj Kopernik, our Polish astronom, when you are in Toruń, uh, you have to taste the gingerbreads. Some of them, uh, they are empty inside. They have many shapes. Uh, some of them, they are uh, filled with the jam or the all kinds of fruits, uh, marmalades. Uh, also, you have to pass by the old, uh, old town, uh, which is listed in the UNESCO heritage uh, lists. Yeah, this is photo of Gdańsk. You can see more visible uh, the, the, the fountain, the uh, Solidarity Museum, beautiful highlighted uh, port buildings, and the St. Mary uh, Cathedral, known as Mariacki Church. Gdynia, and this uh, one of the, uh, I think the oldest, world oldest destroyer, Błyskawica, 
molo in support with small marina on the right hand side and Weba beautiful sandy beaches. Not only in Weba, but I think that uh, the North Poland uh, have very beautiful uh, shore with uh, white sandy beaches, very popular, uh, not only for, for Polish families. So it's during the summer, uh, it's worth to, to see there and, and visit also the um, Polish beaches. Malborg, larger view uh, of uh, Teutonic castle in Mal Malborg, brick castle. And Toruń, city of Mikołaj, uh, Kopernik, with the cathedral, the old town fortification, and the defensive walls. Uh, Mazuria and lakes. This, is, this place is also known as the land of thousands of lakes, and it's really true, because if you would like to count, it's around 1,003 lakes. Um, people visiting this place, they can admire beautiful white, um, nature, unspoiled nature. Everybody uh, can find something for for themselves. They can pass by uh, the special road trails. Uh, you can um, um, ride a bike. Uh, you can go for a walk. This is a paradise uh, for canoeists uh, as well. So any everybody found their own place here of Mazuria Lakes. East Poland, um, with um, important places like Białystok, which is um, known because of the uh, sound uh, um, uh, blazing father Sopochko. Uh, thanks to him, the Basilic of uh, Divine Mercy was built uh, in, uh, in Białystok. Uh, Blaise Father Sopochko spent more than 30 years there and thanks to him, the a message of God's mercy spread all over the world. Um, usually when the groups uh, start uh, visited our beautiful Europe uh, from Vilnius, and next they are passing by, for example, to Warsaw, they usually stop in Białystok. They spend their one day or one and a half. They visit not only the city, but also uh, the sanctuary of uh, um, mercy in, in Białystok. Um, also in this sanctuary, uh, you can pray in front of the relics of uh, Blaise Father Sopochko, Faustina Kowalska, and John Paul II. Białowieża, with the largest national park in, in Europe, this is the only place where you can meet uh, the bisons. Nowhere in Poland, nowhere in, in Europe, but only in Poland. This is a um, um, place uh, available only uh, with the with, with the guide you can visit this place but not you you can't uh, pass by uh, by yourself only with qualified guides uh, and it's really worth worth to see uh, worth to visit this place because now is a, pop a population of the bison is only 100 uh, Lublin and Majdanek uh, when you see the photo on in the corner on the left hand side, you will see the beautiful castle uh, in Lublin. When you pass by the streets of Lublin, it's like a journey through century. The Lublin is the border uh, between Eastern uh, Church and the Western Church. It was highly um, developed um, from uh, centuries uh, till the Second World War. Uh, when the German, the Nazi came to Lublin 
Uh, they transform the castle into the prison close to Lublin. Uh, the Germans um, um, built the Majdanek, the concentration camp in Lublin. Nazi established the ghetto where all Jews were transformed there to ghettos of Lublin and next to Majdanek concentration camp. Zamość. Zamość is known like a part of Renaissance. And not only, you have to, you can pass by the big uh, square, you can admire the beautiful the town hall with amazing uh, stairs. Um, this is also um, the place uh, on the map which call Rostoce. Rostoce full of forest, full of unspoiled uh, nature, when everybody also uh, can find something for themselves. They can pass by the beautiful uh, unspoiled forests uh, and admire the beauty of Renaissance architecture in Zamość. Weinzug. What do you think about Weinzug? The first idea it's a palace, a palace uh, which belonged to the two famous families, um, Potocki. Uh, here, amazing uh, place, beautiful garden uh, with full uh, of um, full of trees. Um, inside the palace, you can admire the gallery. Uh, you can admire uh, the chambers, private and representative, with original furnitures. Um, so, as you see also, the east part of Poland uh, can be visited, I hope, can be visited uh, by your groups. The places are not uh, far away from each other, so maybe this uh, Poland uh, can be uh, worth to see, can be recommended. If you have any questions uh, later about uh, each part of Poland, uh, please write an email. We try to explain you more. Maybe we'll send you some photos if you require. Uh, West of Poland, uh, it's uh, mm, known because of the most important places like Gniezno, first capital of Poland. Uh, Gniezno as uh, Rome is situated on seven hills. Uh, the largest is the uh, hills of Lech with beautiful, uh, amazing uh, cathedral. Uh, you can pass by the, the Gniezno street, uh, admire beautiful uh, architecture. And uh, in this cathedral in Gniezno, they are, they are uh, also the relics of St. Wojciech, which, was a, which is the patron of Poland. Uh, Poznań. Amazing architecture, old town surrounded by the colorful Bogler's house uh, with uh, town hall on the top of the uh, town hall. Uh, it's an uh, enormous uh, eagle statue. And above the arcades is a platform with the clock and with the two goats. Every day at 12 at noon, they appear on this platform and they are fight, fighting uh, each other. The goats are the symbol of Poznań. Uh, below, you can see the two photos of um, peace uh, of uh, Church of Peace in Javor and Świnica. Uh, with uh, beautiful interiors, with the uh, amazing architecture, uh, especially this one in Javor. Um, it's worth to see during the concert of Johann Sebastian Bach uh, because of amazing uh, acoustic and interior, it's full of great polychromes. Uh, on the corner, uh, on the right hand side, we see the Książ Castle. This is the third biggest castle in Poland after uh, Malborg and after Castle in Krakow. Uh, inside are around 400 rooms and utility rooms. Cham you, ha you can pass by uh, the chambers, the corridors. Uh, this castle has a very turbulent and a unique uh, history. Um, it was belonged to many nationalities, many countries, 
uh, was uh, from one hand to another because of the war which took place on this area. The one of the most amazing place in Castel is the Maximilian Hall, when many um, many um, concert and uh, entertainments are taking a uh, place, surrounding by beautiful uh, forests and amazing uh, park. Wroclaw, um, surrounded by Odra, Odra River, second longest, uh, longest river in Poland. Uh, Wroclaw is also known as the Venice of Poland because of many bridges and many islets on the Odra River. You can pass by uh, through the Old Market Square, which is listed as well, uh, to the uh, UNESCO heritage lists. Airports. Uh, in Poland, uh, we have many airports, but the most important and the biggest is this airport in Warsaw, it's the biggest one. Next is Warsaw uh, in uh, Krakow, um, situated around uh, 12 kilometers from the city center, so it's a very good connection. Also, uh, airports uh, which operated uh, during the year are Katowice, Wrocław, also Gdańsk and the Bydgoszcz um, and, and, and Poznań. Bydgoszcz, Szczecin, Zielona Góra, Lublin or Rzeszów, they're quite small airports and mostly they operated national flights. To get to Poland, you can use low, low cost flights and national flights. Um, some of them are um, more often operated with Poland, some of them seldom. Uh, I think everything depends on the season. Highway. Uh, we have four highways in Poland. Uh, Poland is, is divided. Uh, um, uh, by, by this highway. Uh, from example, number A1, it's uh, uh, passing by north through the center of Poland, uh, Poland through south. Highway A2, it's, uh, it's um, um, passing by the east uh, till, till west uh, part of country. A4 passing by uh, Małopolska Mau part of the region and continue. Uh, to Breslau and um, next German. Also, we have um, express roads, uh, which are free of charge, but um, highways have to be paid, but some parts of the highways uh, are also free of, of charge. The highways passing by the main uh, cities of Poland, so you can easily uh, get from one place to another. Transport. We cooperate uh, with the many companies. We rent the buses, uh, which are very luxury, uh, rent uh, luxury buses. They are not um, uh, older than two years old. We can offer luxury buses, mini buses. Uh, uh, for uh, maximum 19 seats, uh, buses can be operated from 49 till even 69 seats inside, um, minivans and limousines with chauffeur. If needed, we organize uh, also uh, the transfer from airports to the hotels uh, or transfer to the other uh, cities in Poland. Accommodation. We offered luxury and boutique hotels, uh, castles and palace as well, spa resort and chains hotel. Everything on group needs. Um, it's from two star to five star uh, hotels. Um, it depends on the budget of the group. Uh, we try to find the centrally lo located hotels in visited places. Season. Uh, yeah, we can choose <laughs> if you would like to visit uh, Poland in winter, spring, or summertime. Uh, for example, January, March, it's uh, uh, low, uh, low season uh, here in Poland, but with low prices. 
And unfortunately or fortunately, <laughs> with the low temperature, it depends what you would like to do. If you would like to uh, go to ski in Zakopane, it's the perfect time to go there. The temperature can be between minus, even minus 20 uh, till plus 10 Celsius degree. Uh, in this time, many students group uh, visit this in Poland, a few group of adults and also some incentive. April uh, is the medium season with medium prices. Weather it's quite okay, but of course the temperature can be around zero Celsius degree till 20 and it's possible of rain. Uh, in this uh, period, uh, mostly Poland is visited by students, and adult incentive, and also we have some uh, pilgrimage group, especially in winter uh, in Easter time, uh, to see our uh, Easter uh, Easter holidays, how we celebrate this, uh, to know our Easter customs. May June, high season with high price with long day, sunny, beautiful day, temperature uh, around 10, 30 Celsius degree, many incentive adults and conferences as well. July, August, medium season uh, with medium prices and not hot, but the, with the long day and temperature, they can be between 20, 20 35 Celsius degree. Usually it's sunny. Um, groups uh, of adults uh, and pil pilgrims groups, also the cultural trips are um, often come to Poland, to Krakow, to other um, cities in Poland. September, October, uh, another high season with high price. Whether it's okay, the day is not as long as uh, July, August, but it's also good possibility uh, for, for sightseeing. It's not hot, temperature around 10, 20 Celsius degree, and it's possible of rain. Uh, adults uh, voluntarily come here uh, in, uh, in this part of the year, congresses, conference, and incentives are often organized. December, November, uh, winter time with uh, its low season with quite low prices. Uh, it's cold. It can be cold minus ten plus ten. It, it depends on the weather condition. The day it's short, um, but it's very good opportunity to come to Krakow and see the Christmas market, especially. Uh, in Krakow, every year, many wooden small houses are um, uh, built in the old market square and they offer not only the souvenirs, but the, also the handmade things and great uh, national, international, na national, regional cuisine. And uh, our view of uh, four season, for example, Krakow is spring, full of flowers, beautiful, a uh, blue sky, uh, beautiful, uh, also Baltic Sea with nice shore, nice weather, a uh, go uh, good opportunity to come in summertime, a uh, beautiful Polish gold autumn and uh, winter. Uh, I think it's the lake of, uh, of Morskie Oko in the Tatra mountains. Ernesto Travel. Here we are in Krakow, in Poland. We are a travel agency. Uh, we are a tour operator in Krakow, in Poland and Europe. We are full of your, uh, uh, we are fully disposal to you. Um, 15 years of our existence on um, Polish market. Leisure tourism tailor-made. Uh, of course, uh, we have several program uh, which we can recommend, which is uh, our top, let's say, 10, uh, top 15. But of course, we make we can make program for you tailor-made. If you have, uh, if you know the budget, if you know the places which would, would you like to visit, please write us. We will prepare the program, especially for uh, your uh, for your needs, for the needs of the group. We organize pilgrims, uh, cultural trip, also incentive, mice, a program for students, 
trips to Poland and Europe, and as well as fun trips. Religious tourism and pilgrimage. Uh, we can organize tours through Polish and European century. Uh, the groups can visit places related with John Paul II, Faustina Kowalska, uh, or uh, other Polish or uh, European sites. Uh, it can be a um, trip on the footstep of John Paul II, Maximilian Kolbe. We can organize pilgrimage through all Europe. Ernesto travel in numbers. Uh, we organized 4,533 excursion. Uh, we hosted uh, almost 112,000 uh, tourists and pilgrimage. And we are, we are 15 years uh, of uh, experience. We have 15 years of experience. Uh, here's our uh, website with our all details, something about us, what we do. Um, all the time we put some news on our website. You can also um, see what you do on our Facebook. You can write some opinions uh, and you can contact with us through website or write an email. And uh, the website is available in several languages. Here you can see the number of tourists and the turnover in Euro. Uh, in 2016, uh, we had, uh, I think, the biggest amount, yes, uh, we had biggest amount uh, in tourists. We hosted the biggest amount uh, in uh, tourists because of the World Eve National Days and the turnover uh, were uh, almost 8 uh, million euro. The biggest event we have managed, it was at, mm, in Auschwitz-Birkenau, 12,000 people during the celebrations, a concert, symphony, cathedral, the suffering of the innocents, and also uh, 16,000 of people during World Eve Day in 2016. Uh, you see the, the pilgrims uh, in the old market square in front of the Saint Mar uh, in front of the Saint Mary Church, uh, and uh, it was a really great time, uh, not only for for Krakow, um, but also for all the pil pilgrims which came to Poland in those days. Some programs, as I. Um, Told we have some programs which are top 10, but uh, of course we can make the program for you, tailor-made. Uh, for example, Poland in 10 days, you can start from, uh, from Gdańsk, the group can uh, uh, land in Gdańsk or in Warsaw. Uh, it depends on, the, uh, it depends on your possi uh, possibilities. Uh, for example, when the group start in, in uh, Gdańsk, uh, they spent uh, two, two, two days in, their, in three city to admire the beautiful panorama of, um, of town. And we can also organize some cruise uh, between uh, three city or cruise to uh, Westerplatte or maybe uh, to hell. Um, it depends what world you prefer. Next from Gdansk, we go to South. Uh, we stop in Malborg. Next, the group uh, um, usually visit Warsaw, the capital of, of Poland. Uh, it was now is the capital of Poland, but uh, before was uh, Gniezno and Krakow. But in 16th century, the Zygmunt III Vaza um, transfer the capital from Krakow exactly to Warsaw. Then we can pass by to Poznań, Wrocław, and go down to uh, Krakow to visit Krakow and uh, surroundings like Wieliczka Saldmain, Auschwitz Birkenau, um, and also Zakopane with beautiful Tatra mountains. Uh, following the footstep of John Paul II, Faustina Kowalska and Maximilian Kolbe, uh, the group can start the uh, journey from Krakow or from Warsaw. The two airports uh, are uh, operated. Uh, if we start Warsaw, 
usually in the group spend uh, two days there and next you can visit the Nipokalanov or maybe Żelazowa Wola. Um, next you are going to uh, to Głogowiec and Świnicewartkie, the place uh, famous because of uh, Faustina Kowalska. Next you are going to Częstochowa, the one of the largest uh, Marian uh, shrine with uh, miraculous Black Madonna, and you continue direction south to Auschwitz-Birkenau, Krakow, um, surroundings, and Zakopane. Eastern Eastern Europe and Oberammergau, traditionally. Warsaw, the Częstochowa, some days in Krakow and surroundings. Next, you can continue to beautiful uh, Prague. And the, finally, Munich and Oberammergau. Uh, Oberammergau is the, described the passion play of uh, Jesus Christ. It's a play every 10 years. So also it's a, a unique, um, let's say events with amazing atmosphere. Many people from all over the world would like to attend in this kind of performance of passion play. If you have any requested from your group uh, about the Oberammergo, please don't hesitate, write us. We will update you uh, with all information. Poland and Baltic country. To be honest, the, this uh, trip it's uh, very popular. It's uh, very popular from um, two, three, even four years. It's not only Poland, but our neighbor country like Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Helsinki. The group usually start in Warsaw. They are going north to Białystok to visit uh, the Divine Mercy Shrine uh, and pray in front of um, relics of Blaise Father Sopochko. Next, uh, they, are, they can visit the Vilnos, which is also recommended uh, as a Divine Mercy city. Uh, they, are they can visit the Shavle with the Hill of Cross, then continue to, to Riga, next Tallinn and Helsinki. From Tallinn to Helsinki, uh, they can reach this, uh, this part by ferry. And they, um, they have departure from Helsinki to their um, home country. Greatest sanctuary, Central and Eastern Europe. Of course, Krakow, of course, Prague, uh, then Budapest, um, uh, Hungary, the beautiful um, capital of Budapest, also Estergon, uh, the sanctuary at Basilic, uh, with the second largest uh, couple. Uh, um, in, in Europe, the first largest in this one uh, in the Vatican. Next, you, you pass by the Vienna, you can visit the Schönbrunn and Hofburg Paras, and uh, next beautiful uh, Salzburg, uh, München, um, sometimes the part of the Liechtenstein, oh, and close to Munich, it's Oberammergau with um, play of, passion play of um, Jesus Christ. Uh, Krakow for weekend for those which uh, who are not in interesting the the um, the pilgrims topics and the places re related with the with the saints. We can organize also uh, two, three, four, five, seven days in Krakow and surroundings. Focus not for the Pers uh, places uh, uh, like sanctuaries, but also we can recommend many other activities like village castle mine, like maybe Dunayed River, maybe Zakopane. Uh, you can take um, a horse ride through the Zakopane valleys or, or streets. Everything depends on you. Um, if you would like to create your own program, of course, please don't hesitate. We are at your disposal anytime. 
Uh, we would like to also um, invite you for for International Congress of Religious Tourism and Pilgrims. Uh, this year it should be organized between 11 and 15 of no November, but uh, we don't have information yet if it will be organized or not. Uh, if you would like to um, receive more information, please write to our boss, our owner, er Ernesto, on mail ernesto at incortap.com uh, and you will find many information, all information about this big event. We are the only one office, uh, we are only one who organized this kind of international congress of religious tourism and pilgrimage in Poland. So please write if you need more information. Uh, in this uh, year, we celebrate the third anniversary of birth of John Paul II. Uh, this on the photo, you can see the amazing uh, statue of John Paul II, uh, which is uh, situated in front of the uh, Basilica, the Polish Church of Wadowice. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I hope you are not bored. I hope you have another uh, view and uh, maybe fresh, uh, fresh view of Poland, of our beautiful country. Maybe you would like to ask about something more. Maybe you have any other idea to how to spend the time in, in Poland. Um, I am to your disposal, so you can write me uh, now on your own chat or send a message on my email incoming at ernesto-travel.pm. Uh, uh, thank you for your participation. Uh, and please remember about us. Maybe the Poland will be your next uh, destination. Uh, maybe not this year, but we are waiting for you in 2021. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm waiting for your uh, question uh, for a few minutes. If not, please write us. Remember about us and thank you. I hope we'll see you in the close future. Thank you.